and I'm whispering because Daddy and Daniel are still in bed, aren't they? Yeah. And you just, the little our bedroom door just got pushed open, and there was a little mummy. Can we have a cuddle? So we've come in Emily's bed for a cuddle. So we're gonna have a cuddle in bed, aren't we? And I think you want to watch some Wild Dolls on my phone. Do you want to watch other Wild Dolls? Yeah. And have a cuddle. You look so cute. Mm. Did you have a nice sleepy? Yeah. You say good morning. Still just waking up. We're gonna have a cuddle and we'll catch you when everyone else wakes up. So me and Emily are having a cuddle, and then we see yeah, this little right. face appear. Oh, oh, Lord. oh. Yeah. goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> you going to say good morning, Dan? Good morning. This is my pony. So apparently, in a single bed, there's room for Mummy, Emily, Daniel, and a pony. And then one's on the floor. So what is it today, oh, Dan? Because I'm pushing the um, bed what are we doing today? What are we doing? I forgot what it's called. Emily, what is it today? You help down. Um, <laughs> music festival. Oh, yeah, music festival. Are you excited? Yeah. Who's going to get their faces glittered? Me. <laughs> and I can help back there. Oh, you can help me on the table. Oh. Yes, you can help me. Oh, good, Emily. Oh. Right, we're going to go downstairs okay. and watch Pee Wee's Playhouse. Come on then. Hi everyone, so this is a, I think a bit more of an official good morning to you all. Um, as you saw earlier, me and Emily were having a cuddle in bed and Dan joined us for cuddle. It was really, really nice. A nice way to wake up on a Saturday morning. What isn't nice waking up on a Saturday morning is to this weather. It's raining. It's raining. After this amazing weather we have had in the UK for probably about three weeks now, it has decided to chuck it down on the morning of a music festival that myself and the teacher that I work with decided to organise. It's the first time doing it, so we are very apprehensive. It's the first time the school's ever done it. We put it together as a fundraiser. Um, and we have, like I say, say we have, um, there's 200 people coming. So we've got a really big turnout. We've got loads of stalls and we've got a stage going up. We've got bands playing. It should be really, really good. It's on one till three. It is currently 20, 20 past nine. And Rick's just taking the kids to my mum's. My mum's kindly said she'd have the kids for me, which is amazing. So if mum and dad, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Um, they have said they will have the kids for us because me and Rick are going to go this morning to uh, set everything up with, with the other helpers that are coming in first thing. Um, so we've got a couple of hours to set up. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just such a shame because we were going to put gazebos up outside. We had um, someone that worked with us. She made these most amazing, massive, I'll insert pictures, guys, of these amazing giant tissue paper flowers that we were going to tie on all the school railings and everything. But in this weather, they'll just be destroyed. So what we're going to do is tie those up inside and under the gazebos. But yeah, um, for obvious reasons, guys, it's really... <laughs> I can't film when we're in there. Um, obviously, um, we're there between one and three. We really would love to film, but obviously with it being where I work and the kids that I teach and that are going to be there, we can't film when we're inside the school. So I'll insert pictures though, because um, my mum and dad are coming along. They're bring, uh, coming with Dan and Emily. Rick's gonna be there, Rick's off today. So because Rick's working tomorrow, this has kind of turned out to be our little bit of a Father's Day. So even though I'm gonna be on the stalls for a little bit, we're dipping in and off. And just it's just turning into a really big, nice family day. And my mum's excited because she's not seen my school yet where I, where I work at. So, uh, yeah, so everyone's coming along for a family day out. 
later on it's the festival is one till three and then later on me and Rick are out tonight my mum and dad are babysitting and um, at Christmas my mum and dad got me and Rick tickets to go and see War Horse the theatre production at the Lowry so we are going there tonight sorry guys I, I'm so desperate for and I'm not even a chance for a cup of tea yet um, I'm going to get a glass of water in a minute um, Rick's coming back to get me in a second I was just getting the stuff out the garage that we need to take with us um, anyway, so, sorry, I'm trying to remember a million things at one time. So, yeah, so we're out tonight at Warhorse. Um, so, as soon as this festival's finished, we need to pack everything up in school really quickly. I need to come back, get changed, and then, yeah, we're going to head out to the Lowry. So, we're going to go for some dinner, and we'll bring you guys along for that. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited for today. I'm channeling, hopefully, my little festival. I picked up this top. Now, I don't usually do red. But I picked up this top last night in Asda and I quite like it like I love the sleeves these sleeves have got like these little if you can see this like pattern detail and then it's got like these little pom-poms on them and that's obviously on both sides but I really like it one thing I'm doing today which I never ever have done ever and there's nothing against people wear hoop earrings I've just never worn them I've put some hoops in with some sparkly like sparkly diamonds on them, sparkly diamantes. Um, I think it's just because obviously in school you don't get to wear like your earrings and stuff. So I think I thought today, oh, the bigger the better. Let's just put it on. Um, yeah, so I will try and update you guys as Rick will probably do a bit of updates as the day goes on. But obviously he won't, we won't be able to film in the school. We'll try and get some shots of the kids like having their glitter tattoos because obviously Dan and Emily are there. So they're going to get the glitter faces done tattoos, face painting, there's all sorts going on anyway. Um, yeah, so we'll get shots of Dan and Emily and I will insert those here. But I hope you guys are already having much better weather than us, hopefully. I'm hoping this stops before one o'clock. It's not like really heavy. It's like that fine drizzle. It's not like Peter K now, but it's that fine drizzle. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, even if it just stops for a bit, um, yeah. But yeah, we will catch you all later and hopefully guys wish me luck for this. Good morning everyone. I'm sorry about the camera angle guys, but I've got you clipped onto my holder. Uh, it is 20 to 8 in the morning and I am on my way to school. Um, Dan's up, he's just having cereal um, and relaxing before it gets them dressed. So yeah, I thought I would use this morning to have a quick catch up with you all, see how you're all doing. Um, because now we're back into the to the flow of, oh, you don't want to be doing that young lady, thank you. Um, back into the full flow of us both being back in full time. And I love my job, I do love what I do massively. Um, but I do miss the kids at the same time, I have to admit. Um, I miss, it's probably gonna sound ridiculous, but, I miss doing the school drop-off. I miss being able to pick Dan up at the end of the day. Um, obviously, being in the school myself, those things I can't do anymore. So I do miss them. Obviously, it's got its pros, massive pros, and the fact that we uh, share the same holidays. So I get to be off with the kids in the holidays, which is perfect. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my way to work. Emily was still asleep when I left. Rick was about to go and wake her up. Rick's working at 11 today, so <coughs> Emily will be with my mum today, my mum and dad, um, while we're all at work and school. And then as soon as I have finished, I am leaving. I can't wait to finish today already to go and pick them up from my mum's. My mum picked, my mum and dad picked Dan up from school for us. And then I'm usually there about 40. 45 minutes 40 minutes after they finish school so um because i finish at four o'clock so um i am leaving on time tonight and i'm going to go and pick them up take them home and make them a nice tea and have some time with them because it feels like in the evenings that we blink and it's bedtime for them and i've not seen them like that much and especially if on days that I've stayed later to like help do extra bits or get things finished. By the time I get home and, and pick them up and it's like quarter past five um, and then got them back, it literally feels like it's probably just a couple of hours, an hour and a half and then it's 
bedtime for them because they both go to bed at like quarter past half past seven. So, um, yeah, so it looks a little bit more overcast today. To be honest, guys, I won't be too bothered if it rains a little bit just to cool it down, freshen it up a bit, and then get warm again. Because it's not even like it's really well, actually, yeah, no, yesterday was sunny hot. But because I work in a nursery, um, I was outside with the kids a lot yesterday. Oh my days, I have been bitten beyond belief, literally covered in bats. Usually, I've never ever had that problem, never had that problem. But for some reason this year, on one leg alone, I've got 11 bites just on one leg. Um, which are really, like, really hurting. They've gone, like, this size. And that is no exaggeration. They are, like, really big bites. So I've got some antihistamine cream and stuff to put on them. But my mum was saying last night, I think you need to take an oral antihistamine. I'm not taking, like, tablets or pyritin or anything like that. So I think I'll get something like that after school today and hopefully that should help but I couldn't believe it I was literally sat there last night saying to Rick like how have I got another bite already how have I got more bites my legs my arms my back are just covered in bites so oh thank you um and yeah they're really really like sore then I've never had that before so um yeah anyway I'm rabbiting now I hope you all have a super day guys I just realized it's really bad angle you see right up my nose I'm sorry for that but I wanted to check in um, I hope you all have a super super day at school at work day off if you're lucky to have your day off whatever you do guys I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch in with you as soon as I finish school and that I'm on my way home for the kids the music festival it was a big success wasn't it I would want to say it was a really good success it is now quarter seven we have arrived at the Lowry and we are off to go and see Warhorse which I'm really looking forward to so we didn't have time to come for dinner um, but we are just in time to go in it's such a nice evening after the downpour we had it's such a nice evening to go wind really the sun's come out so we're gonna go and get some drinks before we go and sit down Rick say hi I don't think they've seen you today hi. so it's probably gonna be a short ones guys anyway but this is what we're doing we are on our way to the Lowry and yeah, it's gonna be a nice evening It's so pretty here, do you know what I think? There, so there's the ITV studio. My hand's not on it, there we go. Cool. ITV, Corrie's film down there. And then here we are, here's the Lowry. There is a Nando's, but look at that. It makes you realise how close it is. Oh, my Beth! Ooh, right. We're in the Lowry. We've got really good seats. I can't spin it now, can I? M seats, just one. But Dad's got us really good seats for Christmas, hasn't he? Yeah. So we are sat, let me see, end seats. Oh, <laughs> grandma. Hang on. you in this one? Oh my god. 
Oh, 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 have you come to edit? So, right, I'll turn it off now, guys, but we'll catch you after. But we're really excited for it, and we'll see you later. Hello! Can you turn that off? Or? No. It is 10 to 11, and we are, we've just come out of the show. Well, I'll say we've just come out of the show. We haven't, now we? It was like half an hour ago. Yeah. And we are trying to make our way out of the car park in the Lowry. This is the only thing, obviously, guys, when you come and see a show or something anywhere, you've then got, oh, I've covered you up, the whole of the traffic to try and move your way round to get out. Level two. Level two. And we were on level six. So we're making a bit of progress. Yeah. Um, the show is amazing. I thought it was really, really good. So if anyone gets the... Oh, I don't know what I did there. I'm so sorry, I don't know what I did to you. Um, if anyone gets the chance to go and see War Horse, if it tours near you, go and see it. It is really, really good. Um, quite emotional, wasn't it? It was like... I found it emotional, at my point. You didn't, did you? No. No. Rick didn't find it emotional. Say so no. No. <laughs> but I did. It was all, obviously, it's about the war, hence the... Whoa. That's quite a bit of a given, isn't it? Hugh Rick editing this and putting an applause there. Yay! Oh, I'm off my speech bubble. Oh, God, Rick and his speech bubbles. Comment down below if you said no. I'm <laughs> so, we're finding our way out and then we're going to head home. Um, Mum and Dad were looking after the kids at hours tonight. Um, Dan and Emily, wow, we came out so. Obviously, they'll be in bed when we get in. Oh, they <clears throat> they'll be on I the sofa. I keep touching that. Yeah, they'll be asleep. They'll be on the sofa. Emily will be asleep. asleep. They'll be asleep. At 10 to 11, Emily's not that. They will be asleep. 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 I'm going to win this one. When have they ever been in bed when we've got well, Dan's words were, can we wait up for you both? And I was like, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I literally was like, no. <laughs> it's like, so, you're working tomorrow on Father's Day. I am <clears> at <throat> nine o'clock. Rick's working on Father's Day. So this was kind of like a Father's Day. Oh my goodness, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, the exit. we picked up enough speed for the car doors to click and lock by themselves. Oh. So we are heading out. Oh, is he lost? He looks really lost. A little yes. old man. What is that little? Is that old? It was. Well, he's a man, though. He's a little old man. Oh my god, the barriers are up. No, they're not. Oh, that, they're not. No, for guy, once. There's a, guy say, like, there's a guy here doing it for you, look. For oh, God's sake. Ridiculous. Oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? For that. You do that every time. Every time. So we are heading We're out. Left right, are we? right. Are you sure? Yes. It didn't even kick in. It just careful, up. careful. I'll tell you why it opens. I know why it opens. Oh my. This picture on the number plate, it knows the pair doing right. Yes. So everybody has to go left. Yeah, but they probably don't live where we live. So if you go right again. Oh yeah. Debating. Right. Sorry guys. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty it looks. Look how pretty it looks tonight. So this is all Media City. Whee! Oh, look at it, Rick. It actually looks really pretty tonight. Yeah. We'll have to come. I'm sorry, guys, it's gone dark. Probably a good thing for you. Um, you know where you are now, don't you? Because obviously that's yeah, where you're yeah, yeah. Um, But we will come for a walk around here. I think only next day off, like at the weekend, uh, a weekend, we should come down here. Because it is so nice, isn't it? Along yeah. the. <clears throat> Again, another place, if anyone's ever around in Manchester, go to Media City. It's really pretty and the lakes are nice to have a walk around you can go across um i was going to say where you can go across i can't think there's loads of restaurants isn't there and things like that. it's really pretty around here restaurants and bars and that so we will do that another day when it's not pitch black and i can show you guys how it looks but you saw a little bit of it at night time with all the lights on it does look really pretty um so we're heading back now 